Thank you, Paris. Did you ever try to write a code without an IDE? Imagine you have the whole web application to write with tens of files in it, just in Notepad. Notepad, which has no any word after completion, syntax check, or potential problems highlighted. You feel that pain? Exactly the same way feels your AI when you're asking it to write a code. By default, LMs have, are able to generate only the plain text and has not any tools that can support them in their code writing or provide them a feedback about it. Bless you. <laughs> so how to support our AI agents, not only in the code writing, I will tell you now. The story began at prehistoric times of December 2023, when we started a clean coder, the agentic AI framework for autonomous code writing. Well, I've been just too lazy to write my code by myself. It's been intended to work same as human programmer, so it just receives a task to do, as for example, create new front-end page or I did existing, um, improve existing backend endpoint. And working with existing our application improves the files inside of it or creates new ones. Uh, so at the very beginning, we just created a simple agent in uh, Microsoft Autogen. And there, some problems started to happen. Imagine our agent wants to edit the function inside of our file, which looks like this. It has some imports on the beginning, and the function itself placed on the lines 6 to 8. Assume that in order to improve that function, our agent first needs to add two additional imports at the beginning of the file. So now you can mention that all the code down of the imports is also moved down by that two lines. So now our function is not anymore the lines 6 to 8, but it the lines 8 to 10. The problem is that our agent has no even monitor to see the changes into the code file. Once it received at the beginning the content of file in his context, he still has the old version of it uh, in the context. And while in the next iteration he will want to edit the function itself, he will edit it in the old place, and our file will be completely broken. In order to solve that problem, we added our, to our agent a tool to check the file at every moment of his operation and prompted him to use the tool every time after he introduced the changes into the file. But that approach doesn't work because he will he been just often forgotten to use that tool. Well, obviously, we can back our agent in the prompt few times to not forget about using the tool. We can use some caps lock letters and exclamation marks to point his attention. But still, there's never 100% guarantee that he will not forget. So that's why we introduced the programming automation that every time after the agent calls some tool call, introduces the, uh, removes all the content of files from his context and updates it with actualized version. Such approach works 100% reliable and does not require from the agent any attention. It supports him totally passive way. This is actually not the single automation we supported our agent with. For example, we also added the syntax check that does not allow our agent to introduce the changes that could break his syn uh, the syntax of the file, or the log check in the background, which uh, provide our agent with logs of application in case something gets broken with it. So support your agent with the different automations that can offload him from part of his job, and from the just plain text writer, you will receive the well-equipped uh, AI superhero. Do any of you guys working as a programmers? 
Oh, I see a couple of people. Very good. You probably have that guy in your company who gives you tasks to do, watches you if you executed them on time, tells you that you didn't done your, that task when you thought that you already done it. You all love your project manager, isn't you? So when we implemented our AI project manager agent, we give, gave him a lot of tools. He been able to do all the crude operations with the list of tasks in our project management platform. He been able to assign to the programmer agent any of the tasks, and he been able to work close with the tester agent to test implementation of that uh, tasks. Problem being that he had so many things to do that he easily get lost in it. So, for example, after he did uh, implemented some task with programmer, he very often forgot to test the task with tester and to mark tasks as done, but started doing next task straight away. Multitasking is never good, either for people or AI. So here, way of supporting our agent wasn't been about just adding an automations. It been about the holistic approach to reducing the scope of his responsibilities. So what we do, we first of all reduce the number of tools our agent had, replacing some of them with automations, but not only. But most important thing we did, we reprompted our agent to not be the manager of whole the project, but be a good task list writer. So now all he need to do is just to write well descriptive list of tasks in the project management platform, and the rest of his responsibilities take the framework itself, which takes first task from the top, executes it, tests it, it and marks it as done. So reduce the scope of responsibilities of your agent, ideally to one single responsibility, and it will pay off you with increased performance. This is, by the way, the clean coder framework about which I've been talking. So make sure to scan the QR code and check it out. You will find much more interesting ways of supporting your agent than I had the time to tell you. Feel free also to use it to write you a code, same as it did in two of my startups. And, ah, and also, if you find my talk useful, please leave a star here. You have a deal? So to sum up. When you're creating your AI agents, think how you can support them, what you can do to offload them from part of their job or reduce their scope of responsibilities. And that way, you will do their job much more effective and pleasant. And this is actually part of our job, guys. We, as AI developers, working hard to make life of an AI Easier. Thank you for attention. <laughs>